Santa Paula traffic, blue extra inbound from the east. Traffic extra two four Golf Alpha is taxiing for runway two six from Fiji. Mojave traffic extra two four Golf Alpha is crossing runway one two three zero on Charlie for two six. All right, so it's a beautiful morning here in Mojave. You can see the sun is up, but obscured by clouds. The question today is about the weather getting into Santa Paula. So uh, the problem with Santa Paula is not only does it not ha have uh, its own weather service and is uh, sort of plagued by marine layer, but it's also uh, sort of at a transition point in that valley where uh, it's not uncommon for the clouds to break literally like right overhead Santa Paula, and you don't have a weather service station really very, uh, very close on either side, sort of closer to the water it became Rio and then closer to land is almost like Fox or Van Eyes or something like that. So as a result, it's really hard to predict whether or not you're going to be able to get in to Santa Paula. Uh, so a lot of times on a flight like this, I end up uh, checking the forecast all night the night before, and then the morning of, um, you know, you launch from the house, you, you know, before sunrise, and then you're waiting for the first uh, spots of sunlight to illuminate the webcam, which they have there at Santa Paula, which is what uh, I end up using to make the final call whether or not to go. So today it's forecast to be at 2,000 till 11 o'clock, then 2,500. That's the overcast over Santa Paula. And, it, and then uh, I confirmed that using the webcam uh, as I left uh, or as I arrived here at the Mojave Airport. So we'll do our run up here, 1700 RPM. Mojave traffic, extra 24, Golf Alpha is departing runway 26 and will be southwest bound. So I, I'm not sure if you can see it from one of the cameras, but uh, it's a lot worse in Santa Paula than we expected. So I'm just going to go into uh, Fox and uh, wait for the fog to burn off. Fox Airfield. Automated weather observation 1328 Zulu. Fox Field traffic extra 24 Golf Alpha just off to the west of Bound Landing. Fox traffic, extra 24 Golf Alpha is uh, 45 for right down and runway 22. Fox traffic, extra 24 Golf Alpha is right base 24. to sit this out. Oh, there's a restaurant here at Fox, but it won't be open for a couple hours, so I'll end up in the uh, lobby there. Fox traffic extra, 2-4 Golf Alpha is clear at Fox Trot.
our information, Oscar, 1650 Zulu, wind 260 at 15, weather better than 5. Fox ground, extra 24 Golf Alpha is with you. Star 24 Golf Alpha, runway 24, taxi to Alpha, wind is 250 at 15, altimeters 299 or 7. 24 Golf Alpha, runway 24 via Alpha. So it's now 10 o'clock here in uh, yeah, Lancaster, four, Romeo, whiskey, right? and I'm sitting in the restaurant this whole time, uh, uh, catching up on some work stuff while waiting for the weather to break over Santa Paula. Charlie, Roger, for exchange proved. The uh, overcast at uh, Santa Paula uh, should be breaking up. You can see you know, non-aviation weather showing that it's starting to break up over Fillmore, which is just east, which implies that it's getting uh, thinner over Santa Paula. The webcam over Santa Paula looks like it's getting thin as well. So we'll take a stab at it. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how to predict the weather in Santa Paula and, uh, and you know, make the most of the weather window when you can. It's funny, the guy at the table next to me in the cafe here at Fox uh, was clearly doing the same thing I was. He uh, had his charts up and he was trying to find some work to get done while he waited for probably some weather to clear in the basin. That pilot life stuff. Okay, so we'll do the run-up. Max, good. Right on. Okay, so max check good, prop check's good. We'll just do one quick look through the systems while the power's up. So we got oil pressure, we got oil temperature, everything looks good. Power back to idle, make sure the engine doesn't quit. It doesn't. And I think other than that, we're ready to go. So we'll switch uh, frequencies over to tower. Tower's up, we'll make the call. Fox tower, extra 2-4 Golf Alpha is ready to roll, runway 2-4. Extra 24 Golf Alpha, Fox Tower, runway 24, clear for takeoff, winds 270 at 18. 24 Golf Alpha, clear for takeoff, runway 24, we're westbound. 24 Golf Alpha, Roger, westbound, departures group. Alright, so we'll pull up to the center line here, and we'll stop the airplane, and then we'll give the gas. I should be pretty close to the center line there. And here comes the power. Okay, boost looks good. Prop looks good. We got oil pressure. Airspeed's alive. We'll lift that tail up and then just let it fly off. Then we'll uh, pull the prop out. It sure is a beautiful day up here. You can see all the, uh, the brown on the ground, so the uh, water from our very wet winter has started to evaporate out, leave behind that characteristic desert brown. And Fox Tower, extra 2-4 Golf Alpha is clear your airspace to the west. Extra 4 Golf Alpha for exchange crew for flight following, Josh Perch, 124.55. Thanks for the help. All right, so already you can see the uh, clouds that were socking in the whole valley on the other side of the ridge here are gone, so that matches what we were seeing online. And I can see that there are clouds out over, out over the water. So the big question is, do the uh, clouds match the maps and the clouds should stop just short of Santa Paula? Oh, we'll see. Yeah, so we can see the edges of the clouds now. Looks like they're about to fill more, maybe Santa Paul. So like I said, it continues to match the forecast, or at least what was displayed on the map online. We'll see here in a second if we can get in. Unfortunately today, uh, there's so much gas in this thing that I don't think we'll be able to do much acro. We got uh, still half the bag in the wing, so. More gas than we can yank and bank with. Which is a bummer. I was looking forward to doing some more acros today. Uh, we'll get it the next time. So that's good news. I don't know if you heard that, but there's somebody doing traffic patterns in a uh, Stinson, it sounded like, over Santa Paula, so. That's good news. That means that it's at least clear enough once we get there. Just got to find a way to get there.
All right, so we're now under the overcast, and the visibility is within requirements. We've got about 10 miles to go to the Santa Paula Airport. So the practice here is you stay on the right side of the valley so that you have enough turn, uh, turning radius to turn back. And it looks like this is going to work after all. Santa Paula traffic, flew extra inbound from the east. All right, so we have Santa Paula in sight. Now it's just a matter of flying the traffic pattern, get the thing down. All worked out so far pretty good. Knock on wood. Santa Paula traffic, flew extra. Just east of town, we'll be entering left traffic for runway 2 Santa Paula, red and white, Satabria, departing 2 2, close traffic. And extra has the uh, Satabria in sight. Santa Paula traffic, the uh, Cessna 172 over the uh, junkyard, inbound for 2 2, Santa Paula. And the blue extra has the 172 in sight of the junkyard, will be number 3. Copy that. Yeah, so one of the interesting things about Santa Paula Airport is that nobody uh, calls tail numbers here. They just call the color of their airplane and the type. Lots of cool flying goes on here. Always a privilege, a privilege to stop by. And the blue extra is on an extended left downwind for 22172 in sight. Santa Paula traffic, the 172 left downwind for 22. The 172 on final for 22. Red and white, top here, crosswind, 2-2. Two, two. Blue extra, left base, 2-2. Two, two. Is the 172 going to be full stop? Yeah, full stop. All right, so we're just rolling on to final here. we got the 172 just touching down. we got the decathlon out on downwind. This should all work out real nice. Props up, mixtures up. And the extra is clear of 2-2. All right, welcome to Santa Paula. Such a cool little airport. Mango.